Actually, this is, this is a really good juxtaposition of speakers because if there's anyone who can compete with puppies, it would be Pete Wintersheet, who's going to talk about how to make crappy meetings more interesting, how you can thrive and survive through the daily rigor of sitting around a square table with your work peers. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Pete Wintersheet. Hey, Ignite. What's happening? So, um, you need to talk about your shitty meetings. In case you didn't know what one looked like, this is a shitty meeting. I know you're thinking, ah, it's not that bad. It looks kind of like one of my meetings. No, you're wrong. Here's why. Let me direct your attention to the guy in the red hat at the front of the room. Messing with the TV, trying to do whatever, getting set up. He's problems one and two in this photo. We're five minutes into this meeting. He's trying to get his agenda or whatever up on the TV. You might notice everyone in this room is rocking an Apple computer. In Apple's world, everything just works. In the real world, you need a connector or a dongle to connect things. Get one if you're a presenter. Always have it with you. Next problem. There's no agenda for this meeting. Everybody shows up. They really don't know what they're supposed to discuss or talk about. If they're supposed to make a decision, hell, they could all be getting fired for all they know. There's no agenda. It's a problem. Next, we come to problems three and four. You'll note there's some lady sitting in the back corner of the room. You really can't see who she is. There's an empty chair right at the table. This isn't your freshman biology class. These are your coworkers. Get to know them. You're invited to this meeting for a reason. Come give your input, discuss things, find out who your coworkers are. Might help sometime. Next issue, that empty chair at the table, yeah, that's reserved for the decision maker. You need bill from sales to help you decide how many widgets to make this quarter or something like that. He never comes to your meetings because he's triple booked, but you save him a seat anyway. Start canceling those meetings until Bill shows up. Here's problem five. You'll note everybody in the room is doing something different on their computer. They're probably shopping, busting out some email, maybe crushing some candy or something like that. I don't know. Point is, when that guy in the red hat finally gets that TV set up 15 minutes into the meeting, Nobody's going to pay any attention to what he's doing because they're too concerned with what they were just doing seconds ago. Last problem. This meeting happens every week. Sometimes it's multiple times a week. It's been on your calendar since the first day you joined this company. There's really not a whole lot of reason for it. You don't understand what the point is to come every week, yet it stays on your calendar. Start getting out of those meetings. So I know you're all thinking, ah, it's hopeless. We're going to have to go office space on this meeting and go bash a printer or something like that. <laughs> Don't panic. We can fix this problem. I've got five easy steps to help you make your meetings better. First off, this is an easy one. Don't have so many meetings. <laughs> There's better ways to communicate information. Email, wiki, instant message, have a one-on-one. -on -one. It's pretty easy. If you do decide to have that meeting, start having them run on time. Show up on time, leave on time. That way you can get to your next shitty meeting on time. If you're a presenter, get there a little early so people don't judge you for your stupid desktop wallpaper. <laughs> to help you run on time, you need an agenda. That way people know what they're supposed to be discussing or deciding on. And the big kicker is, once you have an agenda, like 90% of all meetings, you're just informing people of things. So now you know, hey, I really don't need to have a meeting anymore. I'm just going to send an email. It's awesome how that works. So this next one's pretty key, too. Meetings are not very effective once you start getting a lot of people in the room. So start playing a gatekeeper and get the right people in the room and the wrong people out of the room. If you really need Bill from sales to just make a decision, get them there and get the noisy interns or the chatty Terry out of the room. 
This five step is kind of the best one of all though. You need to drive culture at your company. If people are having bad meetings, try and walk out of them if you can, or just let your manager or boss know discreetly that they need to hold better meetings. I'm Pete Wintersheet. I've survived bad meetings. You shouldn't have to. Pete Wintersheet! <laughs>